everyone is talking about these hand shake. So Amechi is the Nigerian next president. David Oyo and your manager are so wicked. David Oyo and your member are so wicked. If I catch you in this church as a man, you beat your wife. We close your bank. Fire broke up another word this one. Be coming down. Boy, we try to toast you because you see him wearing a short nickel. Happy Easter, my people. How on a day waiting they happy waiting they deserve. Welcome back to our channel. Okay guys, I know, right? This is like the fourth time or the third time we're gonna be talking about Osinachi, our experience before she died. And uh, families, stories, uh, friends and pastors, everybody, right? Even on Easter Monday, right? And seriously, guys, I've, I've heard a lot of people, I've heard a lot of opinions right out there, and there's some I disagree with others. I have no choice than to agree, even though normally I wouldn't agree with that. But because of her situation and how she prevented other people from saving her, just left me with no choice, right? Yes. Now, we have heard... Like I said, a lot of opinions, but this time it's from the minister herself. I mean, this the minister visited the, their house in Abuja recently just to hear what the kids have to say, you know, their stories and all that. And you wonder why some kids in school perform badly in class. And then, you, then you'd be like, what's going on? You think, oh, they're just dullards, right? Some things come from their home. Like, so I think right now the government should start investigating why a child is dull like why a child is slow in class what is going on with that kid like i, I think her death is an eye-opener now the minister not only said that okay this man you know maltreated this like the kids revealed that this man maltreated their mother or accepted that you know this thing truly happened has been said about our father right the minister says something that's shocking. I'm talking about uh, Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Paulian Tolin, I think that's her name. Yeah, she said, the children told her that he doesn't work, that is their dad. But before we get into that child, the 12 year old, I think the firstborn is 12 years old, right? Is still in primary five, very dull in school you know so we need to also check these things like mentally this so this has affected the kids mentally we're going to watch the video a 12 year old my people in primary five and she wonder why why are you still in primary five turns out that this kid doesn't even know how to read now how a mother that's already going through a lot because my mother my mother taught me how to read. She made sure that I learned how to read and write. I, yes, I remember, you know, um, I further learned um, how to read and write in school, but it started with my mother. So imagine if my mother wasn't in her right mind, how would she have time for us? And a father that really, his business is all about beating the wife and still, I'll call it stealing or forcefully you know taking what is not yours what is not his from the wife because he didn't he never went out to work the wife is the one making all the money he stays at home chill relax and the wife goes out to work and some shows he follows the wife there and they pay into his account sometimes the wife have no idea of how much that's paid into this man's account is the manager is uh the pa is like it's almost everything apart from being the producer and the singer because the wife is the singer and she's got a producer now you wonder why that lady sing with so much passion we didn't know that this real life tears we thought that oh when she's singing the feeling is simply coming from you know the songs and the meaning of the songs you know you just feel emotional about what you're singing about I mean, that is not the case you know you realize that after the news that this woman is not only singing from her heart there's a reflection of what she's going through like literally um so guys let us watch the the video okay this um, minister's experience with osinachi's kids let's go ahead and they should never say anything that has been happening in the house i came in with the crew with all the directors from the ministry and the permanent secretary and so sad we did all we could we met a friend of his there who has stationed himself to monitor what is happening 
and the nanny that visits them to take care of the children. So when I was asking questions, the children, I saw that they were not forthcoming. And uh, I now excuse everyone out. I said I needed to have one and one with the children. So I sent all the children in. I asked the nanny to take them in. I started with the first son. I said, do you love your mommy? He said, yes. Has your mommy taught you to tell lies? He said, no. I said, you know that, she, is she alive or dead? He said, she's dead. You know that she's now your angel and she's watching you. She'll be very sad if you tell lies. I'm here, I introduced myself, and I told him that the president is concerned, every Nigerian is concerned, we all join them to mourn Osinachi's death. But what we want from him is the truth. If they want us to help them, all I want from you is the truth. The boy adjusted his seat. He looked at me. I said, do you fear God? Did your mom teach you how to? pray and speak the truth. He said yes. Then he opened up. There was nobody, myself, himself, and my permanent secretary. And thank God, my permanent was recording everything. The boy now opened up and said that their dad used to beat their mom and their mom was always sad. She would always sad and thinking he would beat her and fling her off. He doesn't spare them himself, that he gathered them in the room and will be beating them with the big belt. If the mom comes in to ask him to stop, he will turn back on her, beat her, lift her, fling her up. And that has always been the issue. And that they are always scared and that he doesn't go out, he's always in the home. It's the mom that runs around, she goes for her gospel music, bring back the money. In fact, if the money is paid through cash, uh, through a bank account, is paid to his account. She has no account of her own. Any cash she comes back with, he collects it. And he would give just a peanut to her for feeding. In fact, the boy said, he eats more than them. He will give mommy small money, and when she cooks, the next minute he starts shouting and beating her, that he is always shouting. And their mom was living in fear, always sitting sad. Oh, it was such a horrible story to hear from a young boy of just 12. The eldest son is 12. And because of the trauma the children went through, I asked him which class he is. He's in class 5 at the age of 12. Why? He said he can't even read. A boy of 12 years can't even read. So mentally, this child is already destroyed. Retarded, yes. Completely. I was battling with tears. So when I finished, I asked him to move to the other side. I called the nanny to bring in the second child. The second son, wonderful, beautiful son, who is also gifted. Mm -hmm. I learned that he sings well. They mentioned it, so I asked him, I said, can you sing for me? When he sang, you could hear his voice like an angel. The DPO was, had just come to do some investigation, and he met me there. We were all battling with tears. The DPO, a man, couldn't help his tears. The second son explained the same horrible situation that they've all been going through. So my mom said, said even these two were enough. The other two, when I said, okay, call them, and uh, let's just... Uh, the third one said, no, mommy, I too, I want to talk. The little one, they insisted that they, they would also tell their story. So we sent everyone out, and we listened to each one of them, one after the other. In fact, the last one is seven. A girl, the only girl in the house. It's so sad. This is a situation that I'm calling on all Nigerians to stand with us and demand justice for Osinachi and these children must be protected because he is not just a bully. I lack words to describe this man. 
and it is sad that women, so many women are living and dying in abusive marriage. This is one out of so many that we are hearing. He stopped, he stopped her from communicating with the entire family. None of her brothers come to the house. None of her sisters come to the house. I learned that she has a twin sister. Nobody comes in. Even when he beat her out of her and she was rushed to the hospital, he took her to the hospital. And when the brother had, he went there and he remained there and never allowed the brother to talk to her until she was on our subject. Okay, guys, you know, I've said it before, like, I can't stand that, okay? And I wonder why, I still, I still wonder why the family, you know, kept mom and relaxed while Osinachi was going through that, all right? <laughs> Even though it's against our will, I don't care, I've said it before. Yeah, and you wouldn't blame Apostle Suleiman for saying this, this that... All these women that, uh, you know, their husbands beat them and stuff, like, don't they have brothers? Yes, because I cannot stand my sister being maltreated, even though she said, oh, no, don't, don't worry, man. <laughs> I wouldn't even listen, my people. But yeah, um, whether they have brothers or no brothers, even sisters, I've seen powerful females, you know, in the family that fight for everybody. Man, they will bring that man down. They wouldn't even listen to their sister. You know, we have females like that too. So not just guys, but um, guys, let us listen to our Apostle Suleiman. This is funny and at the same time um, serious, you know. Uh, let us watch Apostle Suleiman's take on, on this. I said there are certain marriages that should break. There was nothing they didn't say about That's why I kept quiet now. Did you hear me say anything now? I didn't talk. But now, that's not the latest everyone is talking now. And somebody reached out to me and said, well, you said it years ago. They insulted you. What did they say? You are in a marriage. A man is beating you. You won't leave him. Stay there now. You will die. We'll bury you. A man raised hand and beat. If I catch you in this church as a man, you beat your wife. We will beat you. I'm not joking, no. What is happening? All those women that husbands are beating, don't they have brothers? If they have no biological brother, they have Christian brothers. I'm wondering you now, if you are beating your wife, stop. Stop it. If your wife reports you to me that you are beating her, I will go to the police, I will take permission. So that after police, who will, you, who will you report me to now? And let them know what is happening, that as a pastor, did you allow me and some brethren I will gather them, we will keep... Okay, guys, um, this lady is preaching violence for violence, which I will never, never preach, okay? Um, even though um, Apostle Suleiman said you should go and take permission from the police, hit somebody, no, I wouldn't do that, you know? <laughs> I probably would pay some police to do that <laughs> or pay some, some soldiers to do that. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that personally, okay? But the, the, the point there is still being there you know being there for those you love irrespective of um as long as they're going through pain no matter what they tell you you know just trying to be there especially when they're your blood and this lady uh, it was talking about like how are you going to the gym as a lady to train so that you can hit your man um when he hits you or when he beats you or your husband why be in such relationship anyways that's the why stress yourself I'm just wondering, why not save yourself the stress and leave? Why stress yourself to keep fighting him? Like, we've done this whole thing to WWE. Like, seriously. Anyways, guys, uh, that's my own opinion. Just, <laughs> just leave. Like, But guys, let's watch this um, video. Married women, this message is for you. Say not to bully in marriage. Say not to die in marriage. Go and boost your stamina. Start going to the gym. Face your husband face to face. If your husband slap you, slap him back. If he push you, push him. If he deck you, deck him. If you see and say he wants to oppress you, carry but to bust the head. No kill him, make you not go jail. But make sure say he go spend too much for hospital. So that if he come back, if he they see you like this, he go they fear you. Don't die in that marriage anymore. See. 
future husband now listen to me you're coming to meet a tigress if you show yourself if you try yourself <laughs> Wesha, just confess i'm waiting for you but if you do well i'll do you well if you fuck up i mess you up i don't get time Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Let's talk about Obi Franklin's story. He shared this recently. He said, just got off the phone with a friend of mine. His 10-year-old daughter was selected to represent her school at the World School Games in Dubai. His daughter was raped by fellow students, videotaped and posted on Instagram, and the school concealed it for a month. He found out on his own when another parent called his wife and showed his wife the a video of his 10 year old daughter being circulated on Instagram. I have spent the last one hour listening to the confessional statements by some teachers. I'm begging this should rather be a dream. A continued update on my previous post. Uh, this school took the girl from her parents that they wanted to conduct a COVID test and the school rather took the girl for a pregnancy test. As we speak, the girl has been suspended from the school. Some things don't make sense at all. Hmm. Let us move straight to the next one. Remember the story that we, we shared um, last week? You know, the lady that called um, her wedding off, her traditional wedding off, because um, her soon-to-be husband was maltreating her. She um, said that this man, remember the story uh, where she said that this man almost used a hammer on her? Remember that story? But is it true or false? We don't know. Because this man reacted to that. Now, it's, it's only fair that also read the, the man's story. So we have both stories. And you can be the judge. <laughs> he said, my aborted marriage with Sandra Obi. So what this man is trying to say is, this lady terminated three pregnancies without his consent. He said, contrary to the statement my wife posted on her Facebook profile bearing Ada Umburu, um, which is currently trending, this is my story. Let me first clarify that we have dated for over eight years and she bears Ada Umburu with her official name eight good years wow michael helen ozioma and another identity sandra obi you know i've always thought about like seriously man it's really not about the years like seriously let's continue which she uses to suit um her purpose of identification at a particular time within these years i have never on any occasion irrespective of the level of provocation raised my hand on her and this is because i respect adore her uh, there was no such occurrence uh, where i raised a knife cutlass and a hammer on her and it was shocking to read her fabrications in that regard accepted that there is no perfect relationship i can't deny the fact that we sometimes disagree but it never led to assault as she alleged um i make the above statement knowing that we were not living alone but surrounded by relatives which can as well served as witnesses to how we lived um, while we uh, were together in my house. My mother-in-law still keeps in touch to date. Um, this goes to prove that she is on her own and doesn't enjoy her family's support in the destructive line she has told. Um, this is difficult for me to bring to the public domain but i am aware that he who asserts must prove and that silence sometimes means acceptance and as such i am handicapped i am handicapped safe from letting the public into this issue i am now certain that she isn't the woman meant for me as she is more interested in tarnishing my image and ruining my reputation after swindling me and postponing our scheduled marriage for four consecutive times to what gains exactly even after terminating three of my pregnancies without my consent why would a rational thinking woman keep quiet while i spend heavily on a wedding arrangement when she was convinced she didn't want the marriage to hold she had always maintained that she never wanted a child before wedlock um, which i accepted and respect her decision because of the love i have for her after paying a bride price in 2020 she took in and terminated the pregnancy at federal teaching hospital abakaliki that was the third 
pregnancy she terminated i was pained and we had some misunderstanding and it got to a stage where my mother-in-law got worried if she could still get pregnant because of her series of abortions be it as it may when we went for marriage counseling the church decided that her condition doesn't permit holy matrimony but rather marriage blessings she became hostile to me and got angry at any little provocation it was the height of her frustration she isn't what i bargained for after all the pictures i see all over the internet are misleading and a ploy to lead the general public astray this is someone i have supported financially even to the extent of opening a pharmaceutical and poultry business for her facilitated her covid19 grants which she never gave me a dime from rather she had she had her way and lavish it on her extravagant life i thank god that she is taking this direction and i accept and i respect her decision but telling lies to play a victim is way beyond normal and unacceptable regardless of what happened she is having my child and the umburu tradition and culture don't allow that i receive the dowry i paid as she is pregnant for me as she's pregnant for me at present when she delivered my child i will surely receive my dowry a woman with multiple identities so this is the man's reaction to let me know what you think about this in the comment section below speaking about reactions here we have jaruma jaruma's um and an uh, estranged husband i think they're still um, legally married but separated this man right said <laughs> that you know he was the one who served her breakfast she said you know she was the one who served him breakfast who cares who served with breakfast <laughs> it's about who is happy and that's the most important thing um jaruma had posted saying the divorce slash breakup what can you see right and the husband the estranged husband actually replied this and says i have served you this breakfast since i told you i'm done remember jaruma has never accepted uh the fact that even though the news are out there <laughs> that she's uh divorced right or she's separated we, we don't even know these things right we just know that they're separated but she's never come out to debunk or accept the news that okay this is what is truly going on which is fine you know which is fine well she keeps coming online acting like they're still together and you understand this might probably be the reason right a kayamata product right she sells this product you know to people who wants to be with a man keep a man forever so you can imagine i mean hearing the news about the person who says kayamata the ceo of kayamata having issues in a marriage isn't kayamata working that's the first thing you would you think about and this probably uh, you know my affect um sales so I, I think that was that that's what was going on but yeah so he continued um stop fooling your gullible followers i'm only in contact with you because of my son uh and he said this was what i wanted to tell you on phone because i know you create content from deceit and lies stop using me to sell your fake product uh your jars know they work it never worked only fools believe in kayamata like so many negative news on social media especially about relationship these days let's go on let's read this apparently my boyfriend of two years is married for six years now with two kids i can't find the tears boyfriend of two years can you imagine oh my god this is interesting let's read for all the nights i prayed for him and i gave my 
whole heart uh, it is well unless i don't serve a living god you speak to my mom and sister promise me marriage i talk with your family how i helped you select decor for your new house in lecky how somebody reply here you dated someone for two years and you never for once figured out anything about him and you never tried to get to know his mother father and relatives which means your relationship with him was just a joke and it wasn't something serious shaking my head and she replied i spoke with his mom and brother and sister they all liked me at this point i don't even know what's real anymore first i want to say such a lady this will like really affect her mentally moving forward the next relationship her meeting the family wouldn't be anything again because i mean for e everybody to be in on this plan we just worsen her situation in the future the next person she's going to meet i don't think that is right you know as a guy if, even though you're gonna lie don't, don't introducing a girl to your family means you're already you know serious about whatever you know but these days it happens and that's the funny thing this is what i try to like let people know like seriously only if people know i'm talking about male or female only if they know that you can only reveal to someone what you want to reveal to them i think what you should be praying for is a partner who is willing to tell you not everything <laughs> you might not get everything but many things because seriously, no matter how long you guys stay in a relationship, and I've said this, not even the number of years could make a man that's determined to continue telling lies to say the truth. Then that is it's a roller coaster. You know, a man that is determined to tell lies or a woman that's determined to tell lies will continue to tell lies and even swear and cry. You know, let us move straight to the next one. Here's another story. My friend they engaged for about a year now, waiting for the girl to graduate so they would they could marry. Found out today that the girl is getting married three weeks after Salah. So it's not just about guys, ladies do these things too. But we we take the whole story to the next level when it has to do with the guy, you know. But ladies do it. No one reached out to him or his parents. Guys, aside looking for good spouses, look for responsible in-laws too. Crazy. Let us move straight to the next one. Here we have Lorai KG. Lorai KG says here, you should know what your boyfriend does for a living in this current Nigeria. When he spends money on you, try to find out where the money is coming from and when something is fishy about his hustle please run the rate of ritual killings in nigeria is alarming i agree with her 100 percent you know 100 percent i agree with her okay uh, let's hold on guys uh, by the way team crown mexican crown the match still on sale okay if you're interested send me a message on instagram by the way <laughs> moving on here we have odf and a kitchy blessing the man finally released an apology statement or an apology video whatever you know apologizing to kitchy blessing or everybody i think everybody <laughs> okay uh guys let's just watch his apology you guys knew what happened between both of them i don't i can't go back to explain that no let's watch um, from my heart i just want to say i'm very 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 sorry guys I'm not, um, I'm too, too, too hard as well. From the bottom of my heart, in depth of my soul. I knew most of the things you said were out of, you know, curiosity, provocation and all that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry from my heart. I know you, I know, like, <laughs> I know how it feels, you know, someone you really do love, like, show so much love, you know, and bro, you're not coming online, so probably we sort each other. I know how it feels. But from my heart, guys, I'm really sorry. Um, and my I just want everything to, to go because um, definitely we can't continue this way we can't keep throwing shits at each other or whatever but from my heart and my being and most of the girl really disappointed like oh this ordinary with this karma that normal that wouldn't talk or that wouldn't involve himself in a lot of rubbish but now it's, it's talking on the internet. Hey, about what happened, you know, um, this lady, uh, Messi Aide, 
and Adikaz. You know, they are married and you know the issues going on. These are some of the things I don't need to explain. <laughs> okay, if you're a huge fan of this channel, you understand. If you don't understand, please just check out the previous videos. I think it should be there, Messia, Messia Ibe. Okay, just type Messia Ibe. I think you'll see it. But yeah, so the last report that we got was that she left the house, which I, I refuse to believe. Even, even Messia Ibe denied that, right? But now the, the man's estranged wife i think they're still legally together it's crazy man relationship these days <laughs> marriage these days man uh where she says this just because i don't fight back doesn't mean i'm weak it means i'm mature enough to know that anger won't solve anything you know and she continues never ignore a person who cares for you because someday you will realize you've lost a diamond while you were busy collecting stones i agree that's true moving on to the next one guys this is this is very funny uh let me know what you think i i really have not no much to say about this but let's watch this this lady's video my gender <laughs> you see how those girls are working in an office or a corporate setting whether you guys are too serious any smart thing uh, i work with first bang i work with stambeck relax for that when they worry somebody who tried to toast you or somebody who tried to even be playing with you like oh girl i like your hair you be like oh duh i work with you we get money past your papa alone you like that you know be coming down somebody even tried to at least because you see me wear bomb shot on the monday morning if my money is not your bank they will close your bank for a broken pile when they worry this one be coming down boy we try to toast you because you see him wearing a short knicker on a monday morning you feel like probably he's a dirty guy or something relax because he wears shirt and tie you know me say you get money your papa okay we know how much your salary be on so we know they tell you now etk they the pay for pa allah now etk they the pay for a broken pile we take care of you buy champagne we buy you more hey when they worry this one Enough of uh, the relationship stories, okay? Entertainment here we have Shatawali. If confusion was a person, it would be Shatawali. <laughs> he says here, please can we just respect Nigerians for their hard work and stop comparing our lazy lifestyles to theirs. It's shame people think Nigerians will come hard at me, but see they are the ones doing the streaming cause they understand the, the, what talent means. Ghana music is a shame. I don't know what's wrong with Shatawali. Maybe he's got a short memory or something, right? <laughs> if he's angry with Ghana, he will use Nigeria to abuse Ghana, right? He's angry with Nigeria, we use Ghana to abuse. Shatawali, please go and sit down. Please. He also uh, watched a, a, a video where he talked about uh, um, Black Sheriff. At the end of the day, again, he praised himself. Like, this guy is such. Black Sheriff come where the heat. We no go fit take one at a time. Make the boy hit then. Make, maybe make it ask advice on how we go fit manage a road work. Cause this road top with it, you know be, it be serious. People gas here for a music road top. Oh. Forget everything, my nigga. Things happen for people for this music. It's like people the way they, they, they depressed. They know if you do a song again. It no be easy. You understand me? The boy come way, we off for hold them and push them and at least fine. If you get distribution label and whatever and whatever and whatever. Let's hold hands together and push him. We don't know how to do that. We just know how to compare Black Sheriff. Ah, Black Sheriff, make I tell you something. You are new in the game, and I just want you to understand that. It's not how you see it. So be yourself. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you. You just have to be yourself. What a negative influence. Don't, don't. don't listen to negative influence. Because you see, when, when you hear comparison, run com and, and, and run away from Bro, cause me, they try to do that to me to a whole lot of artists, and I kill them. So don't let anybody distract your way. Say make it go there like, okay, no. Then they tell you that don't make, don't make that thing enter your head. Don't even, don't even do that. Don't triumph, cause the moment you even triumph, that means that you have failed the journey. Cause it means you don't have that vision of why you wanted to do music. You come say, cause I, as. As Batman, the, the right song, you know me, me they think of, but you go come in that suicide, you, get, you can compare Shatta Wally. Charlie, Batman, man be spirits. Man be spirits. You know what I mean? All the artists, they take compare me, or they know if you see the lights. 
What be the light? Life be the successful life of a musician. That's what I'm living. I'm, I ain't living no life of an artist. I'm living a life of a musician. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So I beg you, watch the people around you. Uh, we have a request here. Request shout out to Black Sheriff. You know, it's just so cool, you know, to see Black Sheriff up there. This is to tell you and let you know that Nigeria, we appreciate good music. It's not about, oh, because it's from Ghana. If you're from Ghana and you release a good song, Nigeria will support you. You release a good song, you showed love, you know, and you're, you're really, really ready. Nigeria will help you get there without hate. And that's the thing. You know, I want to start by showing love to everybody that's in my family, everybody that's been repping Rick Ross, Double MG, Bel Air, Bamboo, McQueen, Beyond, all the real brand ambassadors. I want to shout some of y'all out. I'm going to start with Hamisa, Valerie Ayina, Stanley Eno, Bianche Bailey, Kawisi Arthur, Black Sheriff, Kawina MP, Georgina Abi, Harry Song, Angela Okori, Nosa Rex, Techno, Zinel Zuh, Josh to be doing more of this, you know what I mean? Okay guys, here we've got Sheila. Uh, Sheila reacts to um, uh, Whiskey Loss at the Grammys. With regards to the Grammys, I mean, I'm a board member, there's only so much I can say, there's only so much I know, but what I do know that every single award show has the categories that they use to judge who the winners are. Some use sales, some use numbers, some use popularity, some use the curation of music. And I believe that the Grammys, one of, what they, one of the things they look out for is the curation of music. You know, everything you've put together to create that dynamic album. So I think it might be very unfair for us to just judge, okay, award shows based on popularity. However, I still go back to the point of it, using the word global. When you say something is global, that means the entire world has embraced it. You know what I actually think, not to digress, I think that Made in Lagos should not even have been in that category. Sheila, oh, and I've earned my stripes, guys. I feel that Made in Lagos should have been in the category of Song of the Year. You know why I say that? Because that same album got to number one on the US chart. That same album is still currently on the iTunes world chart. As at today, I think it's still number seven on the chart. It is not a joke for a journal like an Afrobeat song to get to the US chart. He did that. That same album has you know, collaborations with likes of Justin Bieber on it. Made in Lagos was just also my dynamic. It should have been in that song of the year category. So then that way maybe it would have been okay for Angelina Kijo to pick it up again. I could tell that this is gonna be a long video. I could tell. <laughs> okay guys, moving on to the next one. Here we have Omali on stage. A lady actually hugged Omali on stage and he fell down. Like, uh, what do you want to do on stage? I don't know, with Omali, this happened in Sweden. <laughs> Traditional missionary style. <laughs> What she trying to do with her Mali? Let's watch this video. Okay, guys, I don't know if this guy is joking or not, but this guy claimed that the video's team duped him. I guess he was duped by some some 419 who claimed to be from the video's team. It's sad though. Uh, 150k is gone. Let's watch. Dito, why you are your manager as a wicked? David, why you and your member are so wicked? You guys collected money from me since last year. Promised to hand me a deal, a record deal. And you guys refused to give me the record deal. You scared me. Over 150,000. I used the money that my parents sent me to school to easily avoid my school fees and house rent. I used the money to buy this yourself right here. And you guys refused to submit to your record deal. David, please pay me back my 150,000. You know, I can stand in the front of law to against you guys. Because of that, I'm not going to arrest you. Is that I'm from a polygamous family. So please pay me back my one hundred fifty thousand since you guys are not threatened of signing me to your record label. And if you in the matter name of God, if you don't want my God to judge you, all this money that you see me to spend on this your phone right here is not my money. It's the money my parents sent me to school since last year to use to pay my school fees and house rent. And I use the money to buy off my. Okay, guys, I don't know, right? I don't know what to call this. It just sometimes, you just get tired, like, of seeing things like this on social media. Guys burning cash. Like, how can you work so hard 
for your money and start burning it in the, in the calabash or something that looks like a bowl. Like, I, I don't understand. People like Hotel Dola, Dangote, Tony Lumelu will never disrespect money the way these guys disrespect money. Uh, here it says, keeping our body warm all about last night, shut down. What's the point? Next president of Nigeria, <laughs> the uh, pastors have started again. The pastor, this is a uh, prophet, Reverend Shalom Kelvin uh, Akimbo. He says that Rotimi Amechi is Nigeria's next president. Let's watch. I'm telling you now, who is going to be the next president of Nigeria? You cannot decide to go and pray. Whether to change. Talk to God about it. But I just told you now. Have I spoken like this before? Have I spoken like this before? Amen. Hallelujah. So Amechi is the Nigerian next president. After Buhar. Unless death. It's time for everybody now to start praying. If we don't want the man, it's time to start praying now. Amen. And Unandi Kanu is going to be released from prison. There will be more joy in the East. And the whole of this. Here we have Governor Wiki. Now, everyone is talking about this handshake. They, they're not even talking about the, the humor side of it, like, you know, what Wiki said or anything. They're just talking about the handshake. And this, they were like, okay, uh, this is uh, an aspirant. This is somebody that wants to rule us in a court group because this, this is a science. I don't know. <laughs> guys i stumbled on this i says people who should be on their knees apologizing to nigerians are mounting podiums to declare yet some nigerians are busy debating which of the offender is better hmm this is deep <sighs> Olu of worry denies endorsing Ahmed Bola Tinobu for president. And here we have Tinobu. Tinobu says, those who think they will see me run around the stadium, I didn't apply for the job of wrestling. Those who think you, know, you will see me run around the stadium and all of that, I didn't apply for the job of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I was just uh, to be a donor, not uh, an opposite, opponent. That's uh, what I'm applying for is a brain capacity, courage, change that make life better for a whole lot of folks. May God bless Nigeria. Thank you so much. That's where we're going to hold it. Um, here is today's question. You're not going to hear it directly from my mouth. Let us watch this video and let me know what you think.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mona, no verse, I beg. You get what you want, ask now. We have a case in our You can go ahead and ask them all you want, but I will tell you that that woman is not a prostitute. I am a woman. I have handled a case that is just like this, and I will tell you, and I am still saying it, that that woman is not a prostitute. You can go ahead and ask anybody you want to all ask. All right, please, ladies and gentlemen, a married woman who her husband lost his job, eh? Now, she they sleep around with men just to feed her children and pay her children's school fees. Is she a prostitute or a caring mother? Please, we need your options and uh, any of your your thoughts on the comment section. God she bless you. She is not a prostitute. Can we will hear she from them? A, no she problem. is not please. a Can prostitute. Please, can we go now? Can we she go now? She is not a prostitute. Can we go now, please? Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Until we see you next time, peace.